<laughs> That's one of my uh, favorite expressions is, oh boy, because I use it for, oh boy, like tired, or I use it like, oh boy, like, here we go, or, oh boy, <laughs> like, uh-oh. And for me, it's always a struggle when I possibly can't do or don't accomplish what I wanted to do and sometimes fall flat on my face, just boom, and you go, ouch. Well, whenever you fall down and whenever you stumble or you blow it, <laughs> just like a biggie, you know, where you go, ow, that's the wall. <laughs> well, I have another expression for that. It's, oh, well. <laughs> My oh well expression is one of you do what you can, you pray, you ask God to forgive you, and you move on and you take it one more day, just step by step each day as it comes to you. Because you see, it was never about you being or accomplishing perfection, but it was about you growing in grace and applying that to others in the same way. So. Sometimes if you fall down, you might find yourself more forgiving and tenderized that you might be able to forgive others in a way that God wants to use you in your circumstances, even as he does in mine. I know I just look forward to the meat grinder because <laughs> I'm full of meat, but he has to polarize me to get me tender. How about you? Daily light, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be thou not dismayed. For I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Thou hast been a strength to the poor. You have helped the needy in distress. You have been a refuge from the storm and a shadow from the heat, and when the blast of terrible ones is as a storm against the wall, you were there. The trying of your faith work is patience, but that patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, wanting nothing. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. <laughs> uh, don't you want to drive to God? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. God doesn't bless us because we've done something for Him, and He doesn't bless us because He owes us, and He doesn't bless us because now that you've done and met your requirements of whatever it is that He chose for you to do, that now He's going to obviously give you what you want when you want it. <laughs> that's not God, that's a person. That's you putting yourself in the position of God. When God blesses, he does it because he wants to. That's all, pure and simple. I have been blessed at the most inopportune times where I thought, no, God, please don't bless me because I am in sin. And you know what? It's the love of God that draws men to repentance and the times that he blessed me with himself sometimes were the times that I least expected or thought he would or should. And you know, for you, that may be true, too. Don't expect God to bless you because you've done something good or bad. Don't expect God to do anything according to your own understanding. But what you can expect from God is to bless you, to keep you, to hold you, and to care for you because he loves you. That is your confident expectation. It makes me to lie down in green pastures. The wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Come unto me, 
all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest in the Lord. He that has entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, that we be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine and popular idea, that by the cunning of men and the slight hand of craftiness they lie in wait to deceive, but speaking the truth in love, you always be honest and real, that you may grow up into all things in him, which is the head, even Jesus Christ. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting table, and his banner over me was love. You know, there can be no greater peace and joy than to recognize that when you fail and when you fall, when you rise and when you're tall, whether you do it or whether you don't, guess what? God is all in all. And in that, when you know he's all in all, then it's easier for you to come to him and to receive mercy and grace in the time of need, to receive blessings in a time of joy, to receive peace and comfort in a time of rest. Today, pick a time, meet with God, talk to him, let him speak to you. But also today, find a place, find a time, and find a way to rest. Rest in me.